Good evening. We are coming to you live tonight from the West Coast out here in California, and we are actually at a spot not too far away from Cowboys training camp. This is Ventura Beach behind us. The sun is just set. A beautiful day here, kind of chilly for us from the valley, but nonetheless, a great day for uh, viewing lots of cool scenery here and, of course, football for us with the Dallas Cowboys. Now, when you look at the Cowboys roster, there are two big names that stand out when it comes to leadership on this team. On defense, that name is Sean Lee. On offense, that name is Dak Prescott. Now, while being a leader isn't exactly a new thing for Sean Lee, for Prescott, it's a role he's really been thrust into pretty quickly here. Just a few years ago, Prescott was a third-string quarterback with not much say on this team. Now, he's one of the Cowboys' most recognizable faces. Let's be honest, for the Cowboys to have success, their quarterback has to play well. And despite the immense pressure that comes with being the Cowboys quarterback, there's nowhere else Dak Prescott would rather be. Blessed to just be out here. So excited uh, just to be the quarterback of this team and have such a great team with such great, not only great players, but great men. In his first year as the Cowboys starter, Prescott was an instant hit. The highlights were many, the mistakes were few. But that changed last year. Prescott admits that maybe he tried to do too much. A lot of mental mistakes, a lot of things that I, that I feel like I don't normally do, and it's about just getting back comfortable in everything that I do. I felt like I thought a lot about different things last year within the games, and uh, it's something that I'm going to try to eliminate, obviously, going forward this year. Ken Prescott bounced back from a sophomore slump. His work ethic has been almost unmatched by his teammates. Prescott not just spending hours and hours at the Star in Frisco, but he also made time to train with his receivers in Florida. Coach Jason Garrett says that's what it takes to be a leader. The reps that you have together where you get to the point where you're seeing things together and feeling things together, that's what separates the great passing games and the ones that are just average in this league. And so the, the time he's taken you know, with those guys on his own, away from us, is just really, really positive. And it's really the stuff that will make the difference. The work never ends when you're chasing greatness. During the offseason, Prescott also working with the same instructor that's taught Tom Brady. Drew Brees and Blake Bortles. At 24 years old, Prescott feels like he's more ready than ever to be one of the players this team follows. And that's something that, as a quarterback of this team, that you have to you have to do. You have to be the leader, and you have to get those young guys going, the inexperienced guys going, and just let them know you you've got their back, and we've just got to continue to work. Now, one of the big topics the Cowboys have been asked about this week during training camp has been the national anthem. Today, Prescott, the Cowboys young leader, saying in his opinion, a football game is, quote, not a place or venue to protest. And that falls right in line with the Cowboys brass has been talking about this week. Owner Jerry Jones and his son Stephen Jones both saying in order to play for the Cowboys, you will have to stand for the national anthem. In Ventura Beach tonight, I'm Joel Villanueva, and we are camping with the Cowboys.